Hey, wait. Hey, Holt and Spark, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm doing another face-to-face -face conversation video, and the reason I'm doing that is because I'm simply lazy and don't want to edit a full video of me gaming, because that takes a while. But anyways, in this video, I'm talking about my relationship with my car. Yes, I need to inform you all that I got a big, heavy, love-hate relationship with my car, all right? I bought this Acura Integra about two or three years back, right? I'm 16, so I had this shit when I was young. And no, my parents did not buy it. I was working at the time, and I bought it of my own money. Still proud of it to this day. Is it worth the stress? Probably not. Do I still love it though? Yes. But the body on this car, this the body's nice. Like, there's barely any rust. Like, the only bit of rust that's on the body of this car is like minor spots of surface rust it's like sturdy and that's nuts coming from a car that's from 2000 and it's an acura integra where i live there's only a couple of those going around and i'm one of the lucky people to have one not really lucky in the fact that when i got it home i started to realize holy shit there's a lot of shit wrong but a week after i got the car it basically just came up to me and went psh, psh, and slapped me in the goddamn face because there was a lot of shit I was starting to recognize. Right after I got off my love high, I was like, wow, uh, you're gonna need some repairs, okay. But the other day, I had to replace something. I had to replace the alternator. I've been trying to do that for the longest time, but it's winter and I haven't been able to get a good day. My stepfather has a garage actually, but he's a prick and he won't let me in it. So I had to change it on the ice and that's very, very dangerous. So I had to wait, wait a bit because my car actually did slip on the ice and I almost died. So, um, he didn't care though, that's the funny thing. I finally the other day got my alternator in. It took me forever to, I like to take my dead ass time. It took me like four hours. Because when I start something, I only want to do it once. And I want it to be the, as perfect as it can be. I spend time, like, a dead ass long time on shit. Because I want it to be super nice. Like, I want it, that's, it's done. When I finally finished it, putting it in, it's, it looks so nice. Everything was really clean. There was nothing wrong with it. And I was like, oh my god, I'm going to be able to fire up my car for the first time in like three months. So, or three or four months. I don't know. I had it hooked up to booster cables for a bit and had it going. But like actually sustainably going where I it doesn't need any outside assistance from anything. It's just working on its own. That's that's crazy concept to me. But anyways, so my brother was out there helping me, uh, like helping me with it. Um, so... Or I did it, I'm not gonna lie, I did most of it by myself, but he helped me tighten the alternator. So I appreciate that. Um, I don't appreciate the fact that he was just looking at me do it most of the time, though. While he was over talking about his new truck. I mean, that's fair, you gotta brag about it somewhat, but like, come on, man, I'm struggling. But <laughs> anyways, he was like, alright, go and twist the key. And I was like, alright, that, that's perfect, let's do it, let's do it. So I went into the car, I twisted the key, and I was like, yes! He started going, ding! I was like, oh my god, power's going to it. So I went and turned the key. And man, a fountain of power steering fluid. I'm not even joking when I say I think it went up over my house. Like, it went up far. I turned it over. The car started just boom, like a rocket, right up past everything. And I was like, oh shit. I turned it off immediately. And I was like, oh my god. I forgot to put the power steering fluid hose back on. Shit. Like... I don't know how that slipped my mind. I'd done everything so meticulously. I had everything perfect. And there was a power steering fluid hose that was just left off. So the pump was down below just shooting out a shit ton of power steering fluid. I don't know how I managed. But anyways, my brother's truck got a nice waxing clean. So that was alright, I guess. But... I don't know how I pulled something that stupid. Turns out too though, my brother, he, he went to go remove the booster cables because after we had everything hooked up again, I was like, oh, well, sick, the car's working. So I guess, I guess the car's working. And um, no, uh, it, it wasn't. I just had the alternator rebuilt, but it seems like the battery can't hold charge anymore. So I got it on a battery charger right now. Hopefully, um, if the car starts, I'm gonna see if it can sustainably start and if it can then it's the battery if the battery if the car dies it still might be the battery but it also could be alternator if it's the alternator man i'm gonna get another battery i'm gonna test it if 
the new battery works, I can keep the new battery. If it doesn't, uh, then I'm just gonna bring it back and be like, fuck, didn't even work, dog. I don't know. So, yeah, that's uh, that's my story on uh, me being stupid. I hope you enjoyed it, because I definitely, uh, it was a learning experience, man. It just goes to show, even when you're really excited, you just, you gotta take a step back sometimes, just look at the situation, and be like, all right, is this, is everything functioning here? And just take a minute to acknowledge it. You live and you learn, I guess. But uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, definitely diddly darn do. Leave a like down below. And if you want to see more content like this on the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, it's been Hot to Spark, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.